They will now proceed to the podium to deliver their respective statements. His Excellency Benigno S. Aquino III, President, Republic of the Philippines. Your Most Eminent Highness, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is fitting that we have as our guest, His Most Eminent Highness Fra Matthew Festing, Prince and Grand Master of the Sovereign Military Hospitaller Order of St. John of Jerusalem of Rhodes and of Malta, Most Humble Guardian of the Poor of Jesus Christ. This year is a historic milestone in our partnership as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of the Philippines and the Sovereign Order of Malta. The strength of our partnership comes as no surprise. After all, we share many of the same values, especially given our, our common Roman Catholic heritage in particular. We admire your order's commitment to its mission, Tuicio Fidei et Obsecum Po. Nurturing, witnessing, and protecting the faith and serving the poor and the sick, representing the Lord. Over the years, we have witnessed you carry out this mission in many instances through your charitable works. From the humanitarian relief assistance you extended in the aftermath of the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, to the 700 new homes you constructed for those who were affected by Super Typhoon Yolanda in 2013. You have consistently helped us alleviate the suffering of our countrymen at the soonest possible time. Today's ceremonial handover of the symbolic key to these houses further illustrates the order's generosity towards their fellow men. This complements our own government's plan to build back better, to break the vicious cycle of destruction and reconstruction by emphasizing long-term resilience in our reconstruction and rehabilitation efforts. We also welcome the news that Maltese are international the relief and humanitarian arm of the order plans to establish a regional office in Southeast Asia. Its physical presence in our part of the world will certainly benefit Asian countries by allowing more effective coordination and execution of relief activities and facilitating our increased cooperation in areas of mutual benefit. As a gesture of appreciation for all the support we have received from the order, we conferred upon its most eminent highness Fra Matthew Festing Prince and Grand Master of the Sovereign Order of Malta, the Order of Sikatuna, Rank of Ra. This is the highest order of diplomatic merit our people can bestow upon the leader of a state, and may it stand as a symbol of our gratitude for the order's friendship and assistance throughout the last half century. These positive developments instill in me with confidence that moving forward, our bilateral relations will grow further on the foundations of our shared values, beliefs, and decades of friendship. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. His Most Eminent Highness, Fra Matthew Festing, Prince and Grand Master of the Sovereign Order of Malta. Uh, Mr. President, thank you very, very much for your kindness and your welcome, both to me and to those who have come here with me. Um, I've been extremely impressed by what I've seen, um, and I'm overwhelmed by your hospitality, your generosity, your kindness, and your friendship. And thank you very, very much for all that. Um, it's 50 years. 50 years since the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Philippines and now. This takes us back to 1965, and in the late 1970s, my predecessor, Fra Angela de Mayana, made a visit here. What is intriguing, of course, is that relations between the Order of Malta and the Philippines date back much, much further than that. And what is interesting is that as long ago as the 16th century, the end of the 16th, beginning of the 17th century, there were at least two governors of the Philippines during the Spanish period who were Knights of Malta. So we are not, I think, total strangers to this part of the world. It takes us back all that period over 500 years, approximately. 
the Philippines are an eloquent example of how the diplomatic ties have allowed the Order of Malta to intervene in a successful way in the last few years. And of course, we are very conscious of the terrible series of natural disasters which have hit this part of the world. We are proud and delighted to have been at least of some help. Recent activities have included post-emergency support, rehabilitation, and disaster preparedness. And of course, we all recall the violence with which the Haiyan Typhoon struck the country in 2013, causing many casualties and terrible destruction. After the disaster, our association here in the Philippines, together with the support of Maltese International, which is our worldwide relief agency, reached the country within three days of the disaster. And of course, the two organizations, your own association of the order here, and our international agency worked extremely well together and I think succeeded in producing a very good result. And if I may say so, uh, the Philippine Association of the Order gives a wonderful example of the efficiency of their cooperation. And there are other countries which certainly should follow their example. Today, as we saw, we handed over the symbolic key to the doors of 700 newly built houses donated by the order to the population hit by the Haiyan Typhoon in Sama and Bintayan Island. And I'm very much looking forward while I'm here to seeing some of the work which has been carried out. I hope that the training we have also been able to initiate have provided effective help. And I'm very much again looking forward to knowing more about the impact uh, of Hagupit, which struck the Philippines last December. I hope as a result of some of our interventions that by then uh, the population was better prepared. Uh, and I was interested also to hear from His Excellency the President in the last few minutes the plans to further increase the uh, situation of disaster preparedness. The Order of Malta intends to strengthen our collaboration and our relations <coughs> with the Republic of the Philippines in the short-term future. Uh, we are discussing the possibility uh, of a cooperation agreement and indeed the elaboration of what we have been doing here so far. So I hope very much that my visit and that of my colleagues will be part of an ongoing uh, and developing uh, program which will further enhance the relations between the order and indeed your country. And thank you very much indeed.